Sophia, there are different types of blocks in Scratch Palette. What is their use? Romy, different blocks have different tasks. I am getting confused about these blocks. Can you please tell me about these blocks in detail? Sure, Romy. Let us learn about this in the chapter. Different Block Shapes The shapes of different scratch blocks are different. There are six types of shapes of blocks in the block palette of scratch. Let's learn about them. Hat Blocks These blocks have a rounded top and are placed at the beginning of the script. Because of their shape, they are called hat blocks. These blocks are used for an event to perform a designated task. For example, when the key is pressed, the player should move from its set location. Stack blocks. These blocks are designed to be attached to other blocks from both the top and the bottom. These blocks have a bowl-shaped cut at the top left corner and a bump at the bottom left corner. These are most used blocks in Scratch. Some stack blocks are direct functions, while some contain values that can be changed. Boolean blocks. These blocks are hexagonal in shape and are used as a reporting block. For example, for reporting true or false, or the number 0 or 1 value for a condition. These are used to check conditions and to find the length of the string. Reporter blocks The blocks with rounded ends contain numbers or strings and are placed inside blocks with rounded or rectangular holes. Reporter blocks with pointed ends contain boolean values and are placed inside blocks with pointed or rectangular holes. A few reporter blocks have a checkbox next to them, which is clicked to make the block appear on the stage. C blocks. These blocks are shaped like a C. These are also called wrap blocks. They act as a container for other set of blocks. These perform conditions and loops. Cap blocks. These blocks are used to stop the script. These are placed at the extreme end of the script. These have a notch at the top and a flat bottom. This is so as we cannot place any block below them. Categories of Block Palette The blocks in Scratch are divided into different categories based on their functions. Each category includes a number of blocks to do different jobs. Let's learn about them. Motion, Looks, Sound, Events, Control, Sensing, Operators, Variables, my blocks. Motion blocks. Motion blocks are blue in color. They are used to control the movement or motion of a sprite, turning the sprite motion, changing X and Y coordinates of the sprite on the stage, making the sprite bounce if it hits the edge of the stage, etc. They are only used for sprites and not for backdrops. Let's learn about them. Block Description Move 10 steps. Move the sprite forward or backwards. Turn right 15 degrees. Rotates the sprite clockwise. Turn left 15 degrees. Rotates the sprite anti-clockwise. Go to random position. Moves the sprite to the location of the mouse pointer or another sprite. Go to X minus 45. Y15 moves the sprite to a specified X and Y position on the stage. Glide 1 seconds to random position. Moves the sprite smoothly to a random position or to the location of the mouse pointer. Glide 1 seconds to X minus 45, Y15. Moves the sprite smoothly to a specific position over a specified length of time. Point in direction 90. Makes a sprite point in a specific direction, 0 equal to up, 90 equal to right, 180 equal to down, minus 90 equal to left. Point towards mouse pointer. Makes a sprite point towards the mouse pointer or another sprite. If on edge, bounce. Turns the sprite in the opposite direction when it touches the edge of the stage. Set rotation style, left, right. 
sets the face direction of a sprite to move left, right or in all directions. Direction reports the sprite's direction. 0 equal to up, 90 equal to right, 180 equal to down, minus 90 equal to left. Block. Looks blocks are purple in color. They are used to control the appearance of a sprite or a backdrop and the size of the sprite and their position. These can be used with sprites although there are some that can be applied only to sprites. Block Description Displays the sprite's speech bubble for a specified amount of time. Displays the sprite's speech bubble. We can remove the speech bubble by running this block without any text. Displays the sprite's thought bubble for a specified amount of time. Displays the sprite's thought bubble. Changes the sprite's appearance by switching to a different costume. Changes the current backdrop to the next backdrop in the backdrop list. If at the end of the backdrop list, jumps back to the first backdrop. Changes the current costume to the next costume in the costume list. If at the end of the costume list, jumps back to the first costume. Changes the stage's appearance by switching to a different backdrop. Clears all the graphic effects assigned to a sprite. Changes the visual effect assigned to a sprite by a specified amount. Use the drop-down menu to choose the effect. Makes a sprite appear on the stage. Makes a sprite hide on the stage. Moves the sprite backward or forward by a specified number of layers. Moves the sprite backward or forward. Sound blocks. Sound blocks are magenta in color. They are used to control the sound functions in a project. They are used for both sprites and backdrops. Block description. Plays the chosen music until the duration of the music is complete. Starts playing a sound selected from the drop-down menu and immediately moves on to the next block even when the sound is still playing. Stops playing all sounds. Changes the sprite's pitch volume by a specified amount. Pitch ranges from 0 to 100. Sets the sprite's pitch range. Clears all sound effects. Sets the sprite's sound volume to a specified value. Reports the sprite's sound volume. Event blocks. Event blocks are light yellow in color. They are used to control events and trigger the script to run and give the output. They are important for every project. If they are not used, running multiple scripts at a single time is difficult. They are used for both sprites and backdrops. Block description. Runs the script given below it when the green flag is clicked. Runs the script given below it when a specified key is pressed. Runs the script given below it when a sprite is clicked. Runs the script given below it when the backdrop changes to the specified backdrop. Activates the script given below it when the specified broadcast has been sent. Sends a message to all the scripts of the project. Sends a message to all sprites triggering them to do something and waits until they are done before moving on to the next block. Control blocks. Control blocks are gold in color. They are used to control the loops and conditions of the script. They can make our code much more efficient and effective when combined with the variables and operators blocks. They are used for both sprites and backdrops. Block description. Pauses the script for a particular amount of time. Repeats the given set of blocks a specified number of times before moving further. Runs the given blocks of code if the condition is true. Ignores the given blocks of code if the condition is false and moves to the next script. Stops all scripts in all sprites. Setting the sprite position on the stage. The stage of the scratch is 360 pixels high and 480 pixels wide. It is divided into X and Y grids. The X value determines the horizontal location of the sprite and ranges from 240 to minus 240, whereas the Y value determines the vertical location or height of the stage and range from 180 to minus 180.
The middle of the stage has x and y coordinates as 0, 0. We can find out the x and y positions of the sprite on the stage by moving it on the stage and observe the change in the coordinates displayed on the stage. Changing the sprite's position on the stage The steps to change the sprite's position on the stage are as follows. Step 1. Drag the block in the scripts area and change the value 10 to 100. Step 2. Drag the block in the scripts area and change the value 10 to 50. Step 3. Click on any of the blocks. The sprite will change the position according to the coordinates given. Adding sound. We can add sound to the scratch project either by using the blocks present in the sound block palette or import sound from the sounds tab. The steps to choose sound from the sounds tab are as follows. Step 1. Click on the sounds tab placed on the top of the scripts area. A new sound section will appear. Step 2. Under the new sound section, there are four buttons that is choose a sound, record sound, sound or music and upload. Step 3. Click on the choose a sound button. The choose a sound dialog box will appear with multiple categories. Step 4. Choose any category from the given options. For example, select the animal categories and click on the required option. That particular sound will get selected. Click on the play button to play the sound. Graphical effects on the sprite. Let us perform some graphical effects on the sprite. The block in looks block palette allows the sprite to change according to type of effect selected. The effect value can also be changed by changing its value. Some graphical effects are color. It changes the color of the sprite. Fish eye. It makes the center part of the sprite appear bigger. Whirl. It twists the sprite around its center point. Pixelate. It pixelates the sprite. Mosaic. It creates multiple smaller images of the sprite. Brightness. It changes the intensity of the color of the sprite. Ghost. It fades all the colors out evenly. The steps to apply the graphical effects are as follows. Step 1. Place required sprite on the stage. Step 2. Drag the block in the scripts area. Change the color to whirl. Step 3. Drag the block in the scripts area. Change the number 10 to 50. Step 4. Click on any of the blocks and see the graphical effect. Dictionary. Sprite. Sprite is a small graphic character that performs actions in a scratch project. Stage. It is the main working area where the sprite moves and performs actions. Script. It is the collection of stepwise instructions given to a sprite. Scripts area. Scripts area is the place where we pick and drop the blocks to create a script. Let's refresh. Scratch is a free programming software that enables children to create their own games, animated stories and interactive art. Blocks are lines or blocks of code which are dragged into the scripts area to create a script. The blocks are in six shapes in the block palette. There are different categories of blocks in Scratch. The motion blocks are used to give motion to the sprites and move them. The looks blocks control the look, size and position of the sprite. The sound blocks are used to add sounds in an animation. The event blocks are used to control events and trigger the script to run and give the output. The control blocks let us control the blocks within the script, inserting conditional statements, loops, repeats and pauses. The stage of the scratch is 360 pixels high and 480 pixels wide. The middle of the stage has X and Y coordinates as 0, 0.